National Geographic presents. What I'm asking you to do is dangerous. You need to take your time to think it through. No, I don't. What do I do? We can't save everyone. But if I don't try, I don't think I'll be able to live with myself. What are we supposed to do? Some stood by. Anything. You have to. She stood up. There has to be a line. Belle Pauli is me, Geese. There has to be me for this to work. A Small Light. New episodes Mondays at 9. Now streaming on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for May 2nd, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Well, Aerosmith made it official yesterday, posting on social media, peace out. After 50 years, 10 world tours, and playing for over 100 million fans, it's time for one last go. Aerosmith announced the Peace Out Aerosmith Farewell Tour with special guest The Black Crows. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com. The tour kicks off September 2nd in Philly, and this leg of the tour runs through January 26th of 2024 in Montreal. The band scheduling a special appearance in their hometown of Boston at the TD Garden on New Year's Eve. Gordon Lightfoot, the legendary Canadian singer and songwriter, has passed away at the age of 84. A statement saying, quote, Gordon Lightfoot passed away this evening in a Toronto hospital at 7.30 p.m. The statement was posted on Lightfoot's Facebook page and promised more information to come. The folk troubadour was best known for penning songs like If You Could Read My Mind, Early Morning Rain, and The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Fall Out Boy have released a new vinyl that includes the actual tears of bassist Pete Wentz. Through the company Crinal, the band released just 50 copies of their recent album, So Much for Stardust, filled with real tears for, quote, maximum emotional fidelity. The company said, quote, music is more than just sound waves. It's passion, struggle, and emotion. That's why we developed a new kind of record, one that contains the artist's actual tears, When you listen to Crinal releases, you're not just listening to what the artist played, you're feeling what they felt. Body Count have announced they've finished tracking their eighth studio album, Merciless. Ice-T shared a brief update yesterday, posting on social media, quote, FYI, I just finished the final vocals from the new Body Count album, Merciless, this weekend. The album just has to be mixed. Stay tuned, coming soon. The band is going to be back on stage this month, performing at the Sick New World Festival in Las Vegas. Keanu Reeves' band from the 90s and early 2000s, Dogstar, has reunited and is working on their first new album in over 20 23 years. They announced their return on Instagram last summer and have been posting regular updates of the progress of its recording sessions. Dogstar's upcoming release will be the band's first collection of new music since its 2000 sophomore effort, Happy Ending. In a new Instagram post, Reeves and Dogstar bandmates confirmed that they will begin making some of its new music available this summer saying, quote, thank you to everyone for the kind comments. We are overjoyed to see such a response. Honestly, didn't expect this. It makes us want to play out even more. Extreme guitarist Nuno Betancourt played his jaw-dropping solo from the band's new single, Rise, live for the first time on Monday during the group's concert aboard the Monsters of Rock cruise. Rise is the first single to be shared from Extreme's upcoming new album, Six, that's set for release on June 9th. Former Demi Lovato guitarist and current Alice Cooper guitar player Nita Strauss has weighed in on her time playing pop music and how gatekeeping didn't quite exist in that realm, saying in a new interview with Loudwire that when Lovato changed her sound, fans embraced it rather than freaking out and crying about wanting the old Lovato back, saying, quote, it was an amazing experience working with Demi. Obviously, I come from the rock, hard rock, and metal world, so I'm used to fans being up in arms anytime something changes. The cool thing that I found out is that Demi changed her entire style. She changed her clothing, 
her musical style, and she reworked all of her huge hits. She has a song called Cool for the Summer that has billions of Spotify plays, and she did a full-on rock version with a little Metallica thrown in there for good measure, and the fans loved it. Power Man 5000 have a new album in the works, the follow-up to 2020's The Noble Rot, and yesterday they announced a headlining tour for this summer. The tour, dubbed the Devil in the Dark Tour, will have Spider One and the band joined by two electronic rock acts, Julian Kay, featuring former Orgy members Amir DeRock and Ryan Shuck, and Priest, featuring two former members of Ghost. The tour kicks off July 7th in San Diego and wraps up August 12th in Scottsdale, Arizona. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 151 featuring Johnny Christ from Avenged Sevenfold is available now. At Progressive, we know how much you love your recreational vehicles, so we decided to record this commercial in an RV. With the family on vacation. Mom, who are these people? Oh, that's Flo and Jamie. They're recording a commercial, sweetie. Don't they do that in the studio? Oh, normally. No. But we wanted to feature a family who bundled their home and RV and saved with Progressive. Um, yeah, it looks like you're all out of chips. Okay, I think we'll just drop you off at the next gas station. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations.